Hi everyone, it's Carla from Craft Attic K and tonight is Scrabble night and Lisa's not here. So, you ever hear the term when the cat's away, the mice shall play? Carla's being a little mouse today and we are mixing things up. This is our last Scrabble event of the year. I am very excited. I am very thankful that everybody ha who has joined in has gave feedback about how much they enjoyed the Scrabble game. For the No New Starts 2021 group, we will be carrying this into No New Starts 2022 with a new person that will be running it. That will be Miss Lori, um, and she's going to do a fantastic job. I know she will. But since this is our very last um, Scrabble event, I wanted to take a few minutes to call out four people today um, that have played every month the Scrabble event and earn raffle prizes every month or raffle entries every month this entire year. And I don't think to this month is going to be any different. And we had four. And if you, I say your name, please PM me with your mailing address because you have just gotten yourself a lucky dip prize and I will send you something in the mail. Don't know what it is yet, but I will send you something in the mail from our lucky dip drawing. So the first one is Karina Lindmark. Karina, send me your PM at, or PM me your address. The next member is Leonie Chaston, C H A S T O N. Um, send me your information. Terry Falwell and Virginia Ginny Miller. And just as an added bonus, I have to say, Virginia Ginny Miller has um, also earned the most raffle entries um, for the year. She has so far earned 56 raffle entries just by playing Scrabble. So I hope that everybody has had a wonderful time. I just thought I haven't done lucky dip prizes with this event and I thought this was a wonderful way to celebrate um, those individuals that did it every month and stuck with me with all of my changes and all the craziness I brought forth and as we've grown in our skill set and playing the game. And so, without further ado, for this month's final November 2021 Scrabble event, as soon as you see this video, regardless of what zip code you're in, I'm throwing the zip code or the zip code, the time zones out the window so they're gone. No time zones to worry about. So when you see this video, you are free to start your Scrabble event for November 2021. You have until Monday morning at 1 o'clock in the morning Pacific Standard Time to finish all of your stitches for the Scrabble event. There is a minimum, and I said one o'clock Pacific Standard Time because I didn't want there to be any confusion. So that would be Monday. I believe Monday is November 21st. I should have looked at my calendar to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that it is. And if it's not, well, it is what it is. November 21st or Monday, one o'clock. Okay, we talked about that long enough. That is your cutoff time, Pacific Standard Time. So get out your world clock saucies and check out what time that would be for you in your area. Again, you can start at any time once you see this video. This month is going to be this big firework explosion for the end of the year. You can have 200 stitches per word this time or two hours. Each word has to be a minimum of five letters. We are going to be building off of the word similar to what we did last year. And so I'm going to move the camera around. I'm going to be right back and show you our word and we're going to do our drawing. So I think I covered any, everything. Put your start photo, put your end photo. You can use as many projects as you want with each word that you make. Tie it to your whip if you can for a bonus. If you don't give me a bonus like how it ties to your whip, then there's no bonus, but you can still earn entries. So, let's see how many words can you put together between now, and by the way, this is November 17th in the USA, Eastern Standard Time, to November 21st. You got extra days and you got extra time. So, don't waste it. This is the last two raw to earn those raffle prizes. 
the raffle entries because next month we're gonna be doing some drawings. I'm excited. Um, five letters minimum, as many words as you can. Build off of the word, build off the word, you build off the word. Um, same as we did last year. If the word is snow, you can build off S with the word. Say that you build Saturday because you're really good. And then you can build off the D in Saturday and build another word. You guys did great. You took pictures at the end and showed me your whole crossword game. I mean, it looked amazing. So I'd love to see that again. All right. And I told you who are four lucky dip, random lucky dip people that have I just wanted to reward them because they stuck it out all year long and never gave up. So I'll be right back with our word of the month. Okay, so here we are, and your word is thankful. That's what you're going to be building off of. And here is the magical letters I have on right there. So your magical letters, we were going to start off with the letter I for igloo. Oh my goodness, they keep sliding out of my hands. I'm so sorry. The next letter is E. We're only gonna give you three vowels, so you're gonna need to make be, be inventive. And if I draw more than three, there's P, as in Paul. Here is D, as in Dave. Some good letters coming. Here is S, as in Sam. Oh, we haven't seen this letter all year. I don't think. There's an X, as in X-ray. If you make a word with that X and it's a legit word, I'm going to give you an extra raffle entry just because you did it. Um, oh, I dropped that one. Hope I don't shake you too much. Okay. M, as in Mamma Mia, M. <laughs> and we have my L, as in lovely. And O, as in obtuse. Let's see, is that five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. And I'm digging, I'm digging, because I want it to be a good one. I want it you to have a wonderful letter. How about a V is in victory? Because we are about to say voila, victory, to all of our wonderful members who have made it to the very end and did not have any starts this year or only their freebie starts and celebrate them, and we're gonna move into 2022 all fresh and ready to start all the things um, in December. So, good luck everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to tag me. Um, I'll try and check periodically to see if anybody has any questions, but this is your last two raw. Happy Scrabble.